The Amazon River is the largest river in the world by volume of water. The 6,400 km long river covers 40% of South America. The Amazon River flows through six countries namely Brazil, Peru, Colombia, Ecuador, Bolivia and Venezuela. But the biggest surprise is that there is not a single bridge across such a wide river. We know that time is progressing. New bridges and roads are being built to connect people. No matter how small the river is, there is at least one bridge to cross them. But another truth is that despite passing through six countries, there is not even a single bridge over the Amazon River. But have you ever wondered why no one is willing to build even a bridge across the Amazon River, which is twice the size of India? We have made a video on this topic before, and we are talking about some strange reasons that are not included in it. For those who have not seen that video, the link is provided in the description. But without further ado let's get into the video. First of all, we need to understand that there are many difficulties to build a bridge across the Amazon River. But even if we overcome all of them and build a bridge there, there is no answer to the question of where the roads connecting this bridge are. So the need for such a long road inside the Amazon forest is very important. Therefore, if there is no such road, there will be no use of a bridge. But suppose roads and bridges are built there, the problems don't end there. We know that there are hundreds of thousands of species living in the great Amazon forest, so moving through so many species is as difficult as building a bridge here. Similarly, the scientific world has been able to list and determine the information of only a few species. Therefore, if there is a travel route on this road, we cannot rule out the possibility that humans will face attacks from creatures that have not been seen till now. We can think of it the other way around, because perhaps if such a movement were to occur, man would have the best chance of marking the end of the animal life there. If that happens, it will be the first step in Amazon's demise. Deforestation is another cause of bridge construction in the Amazon. Already 350 square kilometers of Amazon forest has been destroyed so far this year. With this, the previous record of 3065 square kilometers was lost in just 6 months. This year, the Amazon forest was ravaged by the largest wildfire since 16 years ago. About 7,500 forest fires have been reported in the Amazon forest each year. What accounts for so much here is that so much deforestation has already taken place here. Therefore, building more bridges and roads here will mean the end of the Amazon forest. There is no doubt that trees and other trees have to be cut down to build bridges and roads here, and the governments there are not ready to build bridges there because of this forest destruction. Now let's see what the third reason is. The construction of bridges and roads will increase the flow of people and tourists there, and if that happens, a new economic environment will be formed inside the Amazon forest. Thus, once the people come, the entire area of the Amazon will be filled with garbage and it will lead to a change in the ecosystem of the Amazon itself. Apart from that, if entertainment like boating starts in the Amazon River, it will affect the artists. The fourth reason is a question mark. Why do we build a bridge? The answer is very simple. The bridge is being built to connect two residential areas. If we take the matter of the Amazon River, the people living in the inhabited areas around the Amazon River are traveling through the Amazon River in a good way, and the truth is that they do not need a bridge, so the bridge should not be of any use to them. In short, there is no need for a bridge here. However, it cannot be said that bridges and roads will not come here in the future. Anyway, leave your comment below. Goodbye until I come with a new video.